So today's guys, uh, we'll be talking like, we talk about the topic of be thinking for a while, like uh, life in Europe. Maybe, uh, you know, from my experiences, like uh, even when I was a small kid, I was think like, uh, one day I go to Europe, I make it to Europe. <laughs> I'll be so fine, man. I'll be so fine. You know, I'll be fine financially. I'll be fine. You know, my life will be much more better, very good, you know, compared if you live in Africa. You understand? But, you know, there are... There are a lot of stuff like we have to consider when we talk about life. It's not about the only what you eat, what you wear. Uh, you know, life has got a lot of stuff we have to think, you know. Like uh, you can be in Europe, but you can uh, maybe you're not happy, you know. You can be in Europe, you are happy also, depending on the dependent what you think about life you understand like some people in africa sometimes they think like if someone came from abroad they look with you like uh, you are like you are the king you know like uh, you have got it all you know you have all the money like uh, very simple like someone say like give me this one can you give me this amount give me sometimes a I got a call from one of my relative, you know. Uh, is the relative from my father's side. I mean, he's the uncle of my father, so he's a little bit far from me, but he's my relative anyway. And then he, I was anxious to pick the call, you know, because he had tried many times to call me, but I was not able to receive the call. But when I received the call, you know, after talking for a while, he was asking, like, you know, <laughs> can you, can you, like, can you help me to start a supermarket? I wanted to start a new supermarket, so I, w I was wondering if you can help me to start a supermarket. You know, <laughs> it's a big man, a big amount of money, you know, and uh, for him, he would think, like, this is the right place, like, to ask you. For the money to start a supermarket but they don't understand it really like uh, even here we go through a lot of stuff like uh, we have to pay a lot of stuff like a lot of bills you wake up in the morning you have to pay for all your rent you have to pay like if you have a house you bought a house you have to pay for your mortgage you have to pay for your phone bill you have to pay for your food it's not like africa africa you know you can't wake up in the morning you don't have anything you know just walk outside you go to the garden, you pick up the fruit, you eat. You don't have something, you go to your neighbor, you know. Can you ask my neighbor, I don't have anything to cook today for the vegetable, but I have flour in my home. How can I survive on this day, for today? Your neighbor can tell you that, can you come and pick this sukuma week here? You can make food for kids. Africa will live like that, you know. But in Europe, you have to you have to buy everything you know by yourself you go to the shop you work you get salary you get your salary then you go to the shop you buy food there's no food which you'll find on on, on the way to your neighbor farm or to your own uh, like uh, maybe if you have uh, your own garden later on we come to talk also like uh, like uh, how you can minimize life in Europe. Like uh, if you have uh, your own space, you can start uh, like your own garden, you know, you can make your own food. You understand? A little bit of food which you don't have to buy every day, you know, for fun, you know. Also it will help you, you understand? So there's a lot of stuff we will be talking. And how Europe can teach you different skills in your life that you never realized. Like in Africa, we don't do that, you know. Uh, for me, I've been here for almost 19 years, and 
I came to know like I know a lot of stuff. I can do a lot of stuff. I can fix the cars. I can do construction, building. Okay? I'm not a mechanic. And I'm not a uh, uh, construction worker, you know. But you learn those through the process of living here. You understand? So, we do have a lot of stuff like that. Yeah, 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 you guys. So, my young bro showed here, here today. We're going to do some, some guy in there. Showed me some, some prize. Some prize party. We're gonna drink a little bit. Who are you? Welcome to Kichini. Mambo copyright in Walang. I guess you're a vlog in Walang. I'm Ziko Lega Chini. I'm Jaribu Yapo. I'm going to get a recipe for you. I'm going to get a recipe for you. I'm going to get a recipe for you. Where are you? 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 Yenda kama kitumbua imeenda kama nini mwanangu. Nitaka ikutumbia recipe najua. Na wewe huko uko fit kana uko sio? Najua recipe nitaka. Wewe sasa leo ulikuwa naangalia Isa, ulikuwa mkono mmoja amecheza kitu fulani hivi. Nasema hichi kitu hichi mbona kiraisi sana hichi mwanangu. Eh? Mchana uloe katokea jana. Ah ah, huo ni mwanangu ataingia asubuhi. Muda wenyewe uko wapi? Nimeona leo asubuhi. Kuacha usiku. Eh usiku. Alafu 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 unajua nini? Una nani na nani na nani na brand ya kawaida tu. Brand ya kawaida afu kule yeah. kuna hadi Amira. Yaani hapa tumekosa tu kile kinani kile nani yeah, ile cha eh from penny ya nani ya nani ya ya nani ya vitumbua. So where are we going today man? Eh we going to party bro. To party a little bit eh? Yeah. Okay. okay. It's the summer time you know. Summer time we started now. The sun is started to to show smiling. Sun, you know. Sunshine. Yeah yeah. Sunshine, you know. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Right. What do you ask us to do? Sing with you. Yeah, on some pillar. Okay, so do we see, okay? Bape is a Ah, Bape is a Vizuri. No, no, I told you, I'm going to be a Vizuri. I'm going to be a Vizuri. Ah, I'm going to be a computer. I'm going to be a Vizuri. I'm going to be a Vizuri. Akishafikia ji. Eh? Akishafikia ji. Mbebe pa vitu vya kumweka biza. Ana vitu vingi huyo. Huyo kwanza hata nyumbani atulia tu. Sote mdate hasa kwanza kwenda crazy. Mm. Even does the edit badala. Bwana mimi. Eh? Bwana baba mkanga kupigia kelele mimi. Ah. Na no machine ina lalamika sio? Oh, me chukua nani? Yeah, me chukua nani? Nini? 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 Yule dogo akaja hapo na a, na marafiki zake hapo. Wakaona chacheza wanatembea magrupu kama watano hivi. Wakaanza ku nani kurusharusha yale manani yale yale manani. Ndio hivi hivi yani bado eh. Hata sikuwa mkuta kwa zile transformer anapanda juu nikasema mwanamke huyo hapa huyu ni mkongo na za ni nani mnyarwanda mnyarwanda. Yeah. Sasa unasikia? wakaanza kuna nani wakaanza ku kuharibu haribu nani sasa kuna mwanangu mmoja alikupo pale alikuwa kama ni coach wa timu nyingine akamwambia nyewe watoto vipi lakini walivukua wanajibu afikia hapo uh, is very bad with you know like... they are moving around tunaohitaji umakini sana 
you have to be very 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 close to the kid you know uh, this way uh, did you see this woman that one was the year teacher she's very nice woman So about this stuff of stealing also like one time uh, there was in the news mm. here they were talking like uh, uh, in Kala Satama in the city center there. In one building where the rich, the, a lot of rich people they live there in that building in Kalasata, but they are very expensive places, mm -hmm. you know. So they are wondering like every day, every day like someone like after one week someone is, is going to the to the basement, and then he tried to, then they steal something very expensive like a, a electric bike or scooters. So. They put one scooter there without locking, and then they put the <laughs> GPS. <laughs> so this guy, he had the key of that house. He had the access to that house. Yeah. So he's going like his own home. Yeah. Do you know where did they find the, the scooter? No. Here in the Rio <laughs> Really? Yeah, Rio Yes. <laughs> so... Eh? Tunaenda wanangu, shelewa. Eh? Unasema? Eh. Mashine metulia wanangu. Kama hivo. Unasetu home size, you know. Kisha pigia mbili, tatu, design. Au siyo? Eh. I'm a tone now. You're on the ghetto seven now. PM Billy Tatu, Nini, one glass of whiskey. That, that's how we do it, man. Mda saizi sangavi. What's the time now, man?
Ah, I'm gonna figure out what So, so they had put that scooter uh, intentionally, you know. Uh, so, no, so, so they can catch like the person uh, who is trying to steal those stuff. I see now, like a lot. Yeah. <laughs> well, is that car going to cast us to see? <laughs> I don't believe so. Inspection, you know, <laughs> you failed already. <laughs> it's complaining like that. It's all the car, man. That one you go to Spain is all the cars like that. Yeah, yeah. Summer time. Well, summer, summer time, yeah. <laughs> it's better, man. You know. <laughs> Come on, man. Be, be, be careful. <coughs> be careful. Be careful. Yeah. And they're going to the camera. <laughs> Kodiak, you Jamani, what number was it? Like, this is a big swim, no? So, I come here to my young bro, you know, like, uh, this is a compound, you know. You know, you don't find this everywhere else. This is the house, you know, you're going home, he said. 